What's going on, y'all? So, look, the MTV Music Awards 2015. Um, let's just get right into it. I didn't watch the pre-show. This show could have been so much better. Miley Cyrus did an okay job, but to me, I honestly feel like Miley Cyrus, I can understand why they didn't have no host for the past couple of years or so, and they should have kept it that way. Miley Cyrus, her little jokes and... <sighs> Miley Cyrus makes a, spec a spectacle of herself for money. That's basically what she's doing, okay? And to me, it just seems like a lot of the stuff that she do is very exploitive and not natural. If it felt natural, I'd be fine with it. I'd be like, yeah, this is her. But it just, it just comes off as if she's trying way too hard. And, you know, I just, no, no, okay? The joke ran flat on me, and I just really wasn't here for a lot of the stuff that was going on. But, off that, off that, uh, I'm just gonna do the performances, okay? Well, and if I, if they, I know Bruno Mars won an award for Uptown Funk. And, I think he was the first person who won an award that night. And, um, who also won an award? Nicki Minaj won an award that we know of, and, uh, Fetty Wap won an award, and also Taylor Swift won twice. That they show on TV. I don't know what it is about these award shows, but they don't show all the people who win. win. And they could show, if the show is like two and a half, three hours long, you can show more than four awards or people winning awards, okay? And some of these performances weren't even necessary. You can bypass that shit. And, you know, it was just, uh, it was just, uh, it was just, the show just felt like it was thrown together to me. It just felt like it was thrown together to me at the last moment. Um, Nicki Minaj, y'all know the little beef that she had with MTV, you know, not getting nominated for Video Music of the uh, Year Award and Music Video of the Year Award or some shit like that. And she made it about, oh, uh, they don't like thick curvy girls or black girls, but let a skinny white girl get up there. Whatever the fuck she said. And then Taylor Swift wanted to jump herself into the mix and then... The headline changed from that to them going at it and all that stuff. And next thing you know, they claim it was no beef and everything was cool and misunderstanding. So when Nicki Minaj got called to do the opening for the MTV Awards, I said, oh, they giving her this just to shut the fuck, shut her up and to appease her as an olive branch or some shit. You know, that's what it felt like. And she opened up and she did a good job of what she did. You know, she was... She was, this is the most I seen Nikki being dressed and doing a, 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 a performance or anything in a minute. And I was like, okay, she did Trini them gals. And I was like, you better do that shit, bitch. That's my motherfucking song off the pink print. And it was cute. It was cute. And the theme of it was red and shit. And next thing you know, after that, she goes into The Night Is Still Young. And I'm sitting here. Okay, I was a little hype for Trinity them guys. I said, okay, yes, that's my song, bitch. And then, you know, the night is still young. I was like, the night is still young. All right, I'm getting tired of this song, but you better do what you got to do to it. And I'm sitting here like, yes, okay. Is that Taylor? What in the publicity stunt is going the fuck on? That's how my reaction was because I was a little confused. I was like, now, what's this really playing? So, it, it just make you think, like, M Nikki, did you really, you and Taylor really do this shit to rile up people, you know, to tune in, to watch and see how this shit was going to go down? Or is this really y'all saying that, hey, shit did get a little out of hand, it was a miscommunication, and to show y'all that it ain't no bad blood between us and we all good, this my girl Taylor, we cool, and she gonna come up here and share the stage with me. And then they did bad blood. And I was just a little confused, like, is this real or is this a publicity stunt? You know, but y'all tell me how y'all felt about that. And, um, Mac, Mac Lamore performed, and I was just a little bit confused about that. I said, Mac Lamore, whoever that dude, the dude that he performed with, he looked like porn stash. <laughs> Because of his mustache, he looked like a porn star from the 1970s. Like, he looked like he, you know, specializes in eating ass or some shit. Like, all types of stuff. He just, he just looked odd to me. And I was just a little taken aback. I was like, what the fuck? Because he came out of nowhere to me. Alright, I don't keep up with Macklemore or nothing. But the last time I have heard about Macklemore, that the reason why he hasn't been out after he had that big year 
was because he had went back on drugs and he was trying to get himself together and all that stuff. So I didn't even know he had came out with a new song and all that. So to see him perform, I was like, where the fuck he come from? You know, it's just all confusing to me. And I said, you know what, Ashley, you have to remember that this is the MTV Awards, okay? And 9 out of 10, you're not going to know 98% of these people, nor the songs or the songs that they sing, either or, you know, or both. So, you know, I let that slide and I just said, okay, you do what you got to do. Um, Britney Spears came out there. She looked nice in her little gold dress. I said, yes, Britney Jean, you better go ahead and do that with your pony. Get your whip action. Get your whip action. Go ahead. And the little titties was up. I said, that's cute. That's cute. All right. Uh, um, who else? Uh... That's when Bruno won. Uh, I think that's when Bruno Mars won with Mark Ronson uh, for Uptown Funk. And then who came out there and performed? Jared Leto. He uh introduced um the weekend, and the weekend with the weekend, and that hair bitch. <laughs> he gave himself a swoop, okay, and a bang action, okay. He gave himself some shade. Literally, it was just hanging over. And I said, okay, the weekend. If y'all haven't um got this new album, get the new album. It's good. I like it. You know, and that says a lot for me because I used to think he was just depressed. Like, if you listen to The Weeknd, you either going to get pregnant, you either want to, you know, do a lot of drugs and get um go fuck while you on drugs, okay? That's what it makes you want to do. Or you want to just go sit in the corner and be depressed and then do some drugs and then go fuck. That's what he do. That I'm Literally. But the album is really good, and he came out and he did I Can't Feel My Face. And he was giving us every bit of the young Michael Jackson tease a little bit, trying to give us Michael. You know, he was trying to dance. He was trying, you know, E for effort. But um, it was cool. I liked the performance. And you know who else really liked the performance? Kanye West. Kanye West was in that audience going the fuck off. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Kim was sitting there like, <laughs> looking around like... <laughs> I know I would have told him to sit down, but, you know, he really feeling himself, and I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> I know it's a little embarrassing, but, <laughs> babe, sit down. No, nah, babe, I got it, because I can't feel my face. I was like, Kanye, you better go ahead. You better fucking go ahead. Um, it was just nice to see Kanye smiling throughout this whole thing, you know. Uh, when Taylor won her award for the first time, he dug down in his seat, pretended like he was asleep. It was cute. You know, I just like this lighter side of Kanye. You know, he seems refreshed. He seemed like he took a, a, a nice shit before he came and he was just empty and he was just light. That's what it felt like. You know, and I was like, the nigga probably drunk or something or damn near tipsy. You know, and he's feeling right. Okay? I was almost there. I was almost there. I was almost right. Almost. But, um, after that, Fat Amy came out. Or the girl who played Fat Amy. I can't remember her name. Rita or Reba Wilson. Is it Reba Wilson? Y'all put it down in the comments. Um, she came out to enter in a police uh co costume, and she was like, "It was a lot of stuff going on with the police these days." And I said, "Wait a minute, stop, stop, stop. Where y'all going with this? Where y'all going with this?" And she was like, "You know what? I, I got an issue too with the police. I can't stand police strippers." And she stripped down. And I said, "Um, okay, you know, it really wasn't funny to me." And and I thought it was going to be hilarious because, you know, she's usually hilarious, but I think kind of fell flat a little bit. And, you know, they use a police joke to introduce best hip-hop artists. Okay. And then Nicki Minaj won for Anaconda. Okay. And, um... You know, she got up there looking real cute in her little gold dress. Meek Mills being what Meek Mills supposed to do. I said, you know what? You better be that professional cheerleader that you are. Okay? He ain't even get up. Like, Nikki must have told him, if I win, what I want you to do, since you embarrassed me enough in the past couple of months, I gave you a platform, my nigga, and you didn't even know how to work it, okay? So let me show you how to do this shit. If I win, you sit your ass down, and you continue to just clap for my ass, okay? You be the biggest fucking cheerleader that you can be. That's what your job is, because that's the only thing you good at right about now. 
All right, and I'm gonna show you how to work this motherfucking stage. And I said, okay, Nikki, that's what he, that's what the um, it, it sounded like. That's what it looked like. And once Nikki got up there, she threw us all off when she said, first of all, I know this gonna sound strange, <laughs> but I want to thank my pastor. And I said, oh, okay, girl, you know, thank you, pastor. Thank God, while you at it too, okay? And um, she accepted her award. And next thing you know, she was like. But what I want to say to that motherfucking bitch, Miley Cyrus, who had shit to say about that, I said, wait a minute. Is this shit real? I sat up like, hold up. Let me rewind. Did I miss something? Because if y'all don't know, Miley Cyrus gave her opinion on the Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift versus MTV thing, you know, and she basically kind of came for Nicki, you know, said it, Nicki just got mad because you know, it was about her and then some shit about jealousy and, you know, she turned it about from away from the issue by engaging with Taylor and all this bullshit. It was just crazy. You know, most of the shit that Miley said wasn't really far from the truth, but I just wasn't expecting all that. And at one point I couldn't tell whether this shit was real or fake because Nikki kind of came hard. You know, Nikki has a way of being pissed off at somebody and she'll do a little fake smile at me and like, uh -huh -huh. and it kind of gave me that tease. Because at a different angle, I seen Miley's reaction when she first came at her. Miley was like, bitch, what? But Miley pulled that shit out. Okay? If this was all a little P.I. stunt yet again, um, she kind of pulled that shit out. You know, she ran with it. She ain't make herself face. She was like, you know, what they be asking us questions. Then, you know, I said what I had to say. And, hey, the media and all this shit. I said, Miley, don't play it no mind. She just kept on going and continued to say it afterwards, you know, about her not winning. The, I was nominated or one nominated, and I didn't win. I didn't make no big I said, oops, okay. <laughs> it was just all like, damn, you know. So 9 out of 10, it was fake. It was for publicity. It was for jokes and all that stuff. But, hey, it got us talking because I'm still kind of confused. Like, mm. But y'all tell me how y'all felt about that. Do you think it was real? Do you think it was just funny? Do you think it was, you know, fake? Nine out of ten, it was a joke. But y'all tell me how y'all feel. Um, who else? Then another little police joke came up in Miley Cyrus' little tidbit when she did that thing with Juicy J and um, Tiger. And they was on the Ouija board. And I think Tiger was like, so who killed you? And then a thing spelled out L-A-P-D. I said, yeah, okay. Um, Child Tiger and Kylie was there together. You know, ever since she turned 18, they said, fuck this, y'all. We going out. <laughs> and I said, you can't stop them now. Still kind of up, but you can't stop them now. Um, Taylor Swift won an award. Kanye was just cheesing, and he was giving that big old Kool-Aid grin and shit. Demi Lovato came out there. She did whatever the fuck she did. I said, bitch, what? I ain't even know. This, okay, I don't know her. I didn't know that she had a song out. I was just looking at the performance like, and then all of a sudden, Iggy popped up out the stage. I said, now, bitch, where the fuck you been? It was just a little confusing. I was just like, y'all can't just be popping up out of everywhere. And I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute, where you come from? Hold on. Let me catch up. That's how I was sitting here like, I was just a little bit confused. Um, what else happened? Justin Bieber, boo-boo. <sighs> now, when I seen the picture of Justin Bieber on the red carpet, he just looked all type of confused. And he was sitting in that audience just looking all type of confused. And he played right into the thing. Because I always just call him a little lesbian. And he just looked like a more adult, you know, stud, which lesbian right about now. He had his little bangs. He let his bang grow in. His little swoop. And I was just, like, confused. Because his face was tight. Like, his face, I know he got older, but his face just looked different from what I remember. It looked like he had, I'm like, did you get nip tuck sucked? Or did you just get some Botox or whatever? Or are you just tired? I, he just looked so helplessly confused. Like, he just didn't know what to do. And I was just like, what is wrong with him? Is he just nervous? Because first they said this is the first time in two and a half years that he performed on the stage. Then they said it was the first time in five years that he'd been to the VMAs. And I said, which one is it? You know, so it could have been a little nerves or whatever. He done been through some shit. Now, you have been going through your scandals and stuff, and now you coming back. And I know he got an album out, and you finna perform. 
this is your time to make it the bombest motherfucking performance ever. Y'all gonna remember me. Yeah, that's what you gonna do. I didn't get that from Justin. And to come to think about it, every performance that I've ever seen him do on a war show, I've never got anything from it. I've never got life from it. I never had a moment where, okay, I can understand why y'all go off for him. I had, then this one was like probably one of the worst performances he's done. I was like, the dancing was stiff. He gave me lazy Chris Brown tease. He just gave me a remedial Chris Brown. That's what he gave me, for real, for real. And I was just confused by the whole thing. And then next thing you know, he transformed from Justin Bieber to Peter Pan to Tinkerbell. Because when Peter Pan went up, he was doing his thing. When P Peter Pan came back down on that ground, Tinkerbell was there. And he started crying. Miley is on the stage trying to introduce the next person. He is still out there. <sighs> And I was like, is he trying to catch his breath or is he crying? He was crying, I think. And it just seems a little forced. And I'm like, it, it could be that, you know, he hasn't been out there in a couple of years. And, okay, the crowd was just like, I'm confused too, but they going to cheer just because or whatever. Or is this, you know, fake? I was just confused. It was giving me very much um, Chris Brown when he was at the BT Awards and he did that um, Michael Jackson performance. And, you know, he broke down in tears. But y'all tell me how y'all felt about that. Do you think it was real? Do you think it was fake? Um, who else came out there and did some stuff? Um, Tori Kelly never disappoints me. She came out there, she sang her ass off, and she did what she's supposed to do. She gave us pure fucking vocals and made it known why she should have been there at that audience. Should have been nominated too if she wasn't. But um, you know she did a good job. What the fuck? Something bit me. Something bit me on my motherfucking neck. God damn. And I did go outside today and it was a horn. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Oh, really? God damn. I just don't have time. But um, anyway, excuse my little interjection. But y'all know it's summer. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I went this whole summer without getting bit by something like that. And I just got bit on my motherfucking neck. God damn. Ugh. Anyway, moving on. Miley did this little skit with Snoop Dogg. Weed, of course. And then when she was on the stage, she was like, my mammy. And I said, now when I hear the word mammy, racism comes by all the time. I know it was a joke or whatever, but girl, it was a bad one. Okay, I just really wasn't here for that. Um... I don't care if it's somebody that she knew or whatever the fuck. I just wasn't here for it. But whatever. Um, then it was the Vanguard Award being presented to Kanye West. Like we did not know that Taylor Swift was going to present him with that award. Okay? And of course, like we did not know, they was not going to incorporate what happened when t um, Kanye got up on the stage with her. And that whole, I'm going to let you finish... But, you know, so-and-so-and-so and so and so got the best of so-and-so-and-so. You know what it is. You know, and I was just like, oh, okay, we need to let this shit die. All right, let it go. After the night, don't say it no more. We get it. It's funny. At the moment, you ran it to the ground. But when they did her um, Kanye thing, it felt like a fucking PowerPoint pre presentation. It felt like a PowerPoint presentation to the fact that, you know, they had a little slideshow going, showing all his works and stuff. And it was nice for what it was, but whoever it was that was narrating made it kind of draining and boring a little bit to me. And I felt like MTV could have gave Kanye so much more, you know, so much fucking more for that. Okay, that man did, did a lot of stuff, and y'all could have gave him a better little introduction, if you ask me. And then they just, they just let Kanye get up on that stage. He stood up there for like five, ten minutes and let the crowd cheer him on. It felt like and it looked like he was a little bit overwhelmed by everything that was going on. And then after that, he stopped. And when the crowd kind of died down, he was still quiet for like two, three minutes. I said, say something, nigga. <laughs> but then I said, he going to be quiet. And then he going to start talking for like a good 15 minutes. And sure enough. Sure enough, Kanye ain't had nothing written down. I said, you know what, Kim, next time you sit him down and you say, baby, let's write an outline, okay, so you can um stick to the key points, okay? You know, but it was cool for what it was, and it was very much Kanye West. I didn't expect nothing less. He got up there, and he was he gave us, like, multiple subjects, okay? And at first, when he started talking about being in the grocery store and some juice with Little North, I was like, where are you going with this, okay? Then he brought up, you know... 
the fact of what he did to Taylor getting up on the stage and he even presented the questions. If I had my daughter then, would I have done this to somebody else's daughter? I said, hmm, I'm waiting for him to answer the question, yes or no. And he just moved on to the next subject. <laughs> I said, Kanye, so you going to answer that question, bruh? You know, and if he said, bruh, one more time, and he just started going off about some other stuff, you know, about how he used to, you know, feel about these different artists and how, you know, Justin Timberlake was crying at the Grammys because he didn't win doing the um, sexy back. I said, damn, just put all his shit out there. And he was talking some real shit, right? And the next thing you know, he was like, I know some of y'all sitting in there thinking like, what is this nigga on? Is he on some? You right, you right. I rolled up. I rolled up to get to knock the edge off. And I said, you know what? We knew it. You ain't even had to say it. But we knew it. You know? At least you can admit that. And he basically, this was the best part of the speech for me. When he was like, now you see what MTV doing? They gonna play that clip over again. And they just played it again and again. The clip of him, you know, coming up on the stage with Taylor. And then they gonna bring Taylor out. What they do that shit for? For ratings. And then they bring Taylor out for ratings. We already knew they gonna put it out there that Taylor was gonna... Uh, present me with the awards for what? For writing. You know, I don't understand these um award show. You got all these good artists and how can you just minimize and pick only five people that deserve an award? I said, Kanye West just shaded the fuck out of MTV while getting an award from MTV on MTV's fucking stage. And I kept on going. I said, I applaud you, my man. Go ahead, bitch. You know, you better speak that truth. And he was just talking some more shit. And at the end of it, he was like, and if you don't know by now, 2020, I'm running for president. I said, bitch, and dropped the mic and walked off. I said, go back up there and get that um, moon man off the stage. But, well, you know, don't desecrate like that. Just take it and go back to your seat. But y'all tell me how y'all felt about Kanye West, um, his little speech. It was very much Kanye West, so I really wasn't surprised. Um, 21 Pilots and ASAP Rocky got up there and did a little song, like a mashup. It gave me, like, Remember when Linkin Park and Jay-Z did that joint album and they did their little performances? That's what it was giving me a little bit because it's like rock and hip-hop together. But it was nice. I couldn't understand at certain parts what ASAP was saying because his mic was low. But it was cool for what it was. Um, when they was going to commercial break and Miley was supposed to be saying some stuff, she backstage and behind a black cloth. And <laughs> she thought she was saying something. They had to give her a mic. When she reached out there for that mic... Titty and nipple all exposed. Mind you, this ain't the first time we'd have seen her bare neck and nipple. Well, it's the first time I'd have seen it on my TV screen. So I was like, they gonna bleep that shit out in the next broadcast, okay? But, um, she wound up closing out the show and saying that she got a new album out on uh, iTunes. And they could have really left my, uh, Miley. I was just not here for it. But y'all, you know, y'all go get that new Miley. It's free. But, um, hey, it is what it is. Y'all tell me y'all best moments. First of all, you just tell me how you felt about the MTV Awards this year. If you saw the red carpet, who was the best dress to you? Who was the worst dress? Um, who was the best performance to you? The worst performance? Who could have performed in another person's place? Who should have performed? Who could have just been left out? Um, and how do you feel about <laughs> the Nicki Minaj and Smiley thing and... All that shit. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.